There was a time on the St. John River, also known as the Woolastook River, where just beneath the surface of the water, there were thousands of salmon making the journey upriver to reproduce. But that's not the case anymore. Researchers say there were once tens of thousands of salmon that crossed this dam every year. The people would, would handle at the dam um, 30,000 fish a year. And now it's like, boy, it, it was like less than 100 for sure. Like it was like, yeah, almost nothing. Salmon have declined year after year after year. 15 years ago, there were a few hundred salmon counted at the Mactaquack Dam. Now it's a fraction of that, just 31 last year. Salmon returns across Atlantic Canada hit record lows this year. In the Miramichi, the target population for species conservation would be a few thousand fish, but only about 50 were counted at two of the river system's barriers this year. The barrier counts either in Dungarvan River or the Northwest Miramichi has never ever been this low. I think there were like around 50 fish in each carrier, uh, in, in each barrier. Yeah, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. So why is this happening? Well, it's not an easy question to answer. There's a lot of factors to play. And there is the overall driver for sure are anthropogenic influences, so human influences. That's things like land. When we talk about freshwater system, it's land use, it's agriculture, it's road access, it's energy production, it's forestry industry. Um, but there's ocean, also an oceanic life cycle for Atlantic salmon. They're big drivers, changes in currents, temperature, pH values in oceans, primary production, food access, hindered migration. So a lot of big topics. And then you just have sometimes very simple local problems like Woolastock River. There's a big dam that hinders the upriver and the downriver migration of different life stages of Atlantic salmon. But researchers have not lost all hope that salmon populations can rebound. A fishing guide recently came across what he calls a good sign on the Restigouche River. Salmon getting ready to spawn. When I could see there was that much uh, disturbance in the ground, I knew there was a lot of fish. I wasn't expecting that to have, see that many. Just to have them all in uh, action at one time was nice. We're never going to give up hope, but there is going to be need. We, we, we're going to need some serious uh, conservation action by, by all groups and all levels of government, First Nations, everybody. You might hear from my accent, I'm from Central Europe, I'm from Switzerland, and I grew up on a river that once was very well known for its great salmon around the River Rhine, which held, was home to hundreds of thousands of salmon, and it's been over well over half a century that the last salmon has been sighted in Switzerland. Now there's reintroduction programs, but the species is still talked about, even though, so, again, this iconic status of the species. But yeah, it's, it's scary how fast things can happen and changes can happen if you don't look after the fish.